How to get rich in Escape from Tarkov? How to make millions? That's a very good question. And let me tell you guys, right now it's the best. It's literally the best moment to make a lot of money in Escape from Tarkov. That's the topic of today's video. Let's go. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back. Glad to have you here. And let me tell you something. This video is all about how to get rich, how to make money and I'm glad to say it's the old-fashioned way that still works and right now it's even better because of Streets of Tarkov. Streets of Tarkov is a good opportunity to get rich as well, but it's crowded. Not just player, it's even worth, worse. We have a lot of uh, SCAF player in Escape from Tarkov and they can join really early after two, one and a half or three minutes they are already in. If you remember maybe at the release of Reserve we had similar uh, a similar situation but with Streets of Tarkov it's even crazier because of this high density of loot which you can receive on Streets of Tarkov. But it's good. That's really good because you can use your scaf for the old classic ways to get a lot of money. Even reserve works. So first of all, how to make money. What are you looking for? It's quite easy. You are looking for all the hideout and quest, household, technical and some in some cases also the medical parts. Let me show you some examples. It doesn't matter if you're looking for hoses, of course, over around about 100k. It's even more nowadays with the gym to look for tool sets. Tool sets are required not just for quests, not just for your hideout. Also with the hideout expansion for the gym, you need a lot of tool sets. And also you can barter tool sets. So that's why all the barter items for the barter from mechanic, they also have a certain value. So look for those items. I will show you them in the video here as well. Also look for the barter to craft the hoses, which are blue tape, tube, and also Look for the barter for some quest items, which are also then found in raid. For example, the broken G phones. You need a broken LCD and the normal G phone. So these are key items to get rich, and they are all one slot, two slot, sometimes four slot, and then you have to calculate. For example, we have the electronical drill, which is a two by two item, which sells for around about 80 to 100k. So it's worth. Then we have the E motor which also sells for around about 50k. So calculate for yourself, is it worth to pick up, is it worth the wait? Wires, 18 to 20k. Bulbs, 18 to 20k. You need a lot of them. Power cord to craft for certain quests. Also, very good type of loot is food currently. Squash is going for 40k and all the other stuff is around about 15 to 25k because you have some barter, some quests, some crafts and very excellent besides of streets with a lot of uh, grocery stores is the food corner on interchange that's a really really good spot and now let me tell you which map do i recommend i like streets but currently we have a massive massive problem as a pmc with scaf player they are everywhere i'm literally killing if i have a good round between five to ten scaf player it's crazy there is also a video going to show you with shotguns and the sr2 with the scaf player problem it's crazy so you can go on streets with high density of loot but i would go for woods interchange and reserve i like woods woods is great with the several camps you can loot a lot if you have good spawns interchange is still very good but you have to like it kinda um there is still some traffic on interchange and of course reserve i think reserve is a great opportunity especially nowadays with streets with lighthouse if you like lighthouse lighthouse is also not that bad but you have a lot of um i would say dangerous situations there so i i would stay with woods interchange and also reserve i think reserve could be a hidden hidden gem nowadays with streets of tarkov so this is my recommendation i'm currently sitting on round about six million i'm not a full-time streamer or content creator so i think it's doing okay with that method and i'm not fo focusing too crazy on my high dot i have the gym unlocked for you to show it to you so which also costs a fortune um without the gym it would be even better Maybe you can go for lavatory too, like I did, to craft the hoses and some other parts. And you can get with the workbench, with the better workbench crafts, you can get the better options for ammunition and so on. So this is my recommendation how to get rich. It's the old fashioned way, like I said. So don't forget, guys, you are here at the Inside FPS. Become a better gamer channel. Don't forget to subscribe. It's really helping the channel a lot. And leave a comment in the comment section below what you think about this old fashioned way to get rich and escape from Tarkov. So stay safe, guys. Wish you the best. Bye.